Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Modern Warfare 3. Using the new Ball 27 Assault Rifle on the map meet, playing the new game mode Minefield, which is going to be the focus of this video here today because I feel like Activision is trying to pull a fast one. I think they're trying to sneak a sunrise past Rooster. I think that they thought we would never realize what they did when it comes to Minefield here within the game. So Minefield is actually a pretty basic game mode. It's team deathmatch with a twist. Basically, whenever somebody dies, they drop a mine and that mine is going to be lethal to anybody on their team. It's actually a pretty fun game mode in my opinion. I might be biased because of how my matches have gone so far, which is the whole focus of this video today, but I genuinely think it's an interesting game mode that really conditions people to actually pay attention to the minimap and understand fundamentally what is happening around them. I feel like one of the problems with this game mode is a lot of people have what I call Infinity Ward brain rot, where they have been so conditioned over the years to not pay attention to the minimap or listen for other players or just pay attention in general. They're just so oblivious all the time when somebody on their team dies and they want walk right in the mines, they get blown up, it's actually pretty hilarious. Well, initially, that was my theory going into this game mode, because I noticed right away, and I talked about it in my initial video when we talked about Season 3 Reloaded, that the game mode's pretty fun, but I don't think skill-based matchmaking is turned on in it, right? Because it just seems like everybody's walking into mines, everybody has no idea what they're doing, it's actually comical. Well, I played even more later that day, and I played more this afternoon, and I'm looking at my little combat record, if you can even call it that, here in Modern Warfare 3, and I do actually have Minefield here within that. There. And look at these numbers, ladies and gentlemen. 10 wins, 3 losses, with a 3.61 KD. Keep in mind, Minefield is basically just Team Deathmatch, so those 3 losses I had, I think it's safe to say were not my fault, but regardless, 3.61 KD over 13 matches in a game with as thick a skill-based matchmaking as Call of Duty, there is absolutely no way that is true. You can blame all the Infinity Ward brain rot you want, and I do think there is some merit to that argument, but ultimately, I think that skill-based matchmaking is turned off while playing in Minefield. Back when they officially revealed skill-based matchmaking to us. Remember, they hid from it for years and years, almost a decade, actually. They refused to speak about it. When they did interviews with different game sites and content creators, they said, like, right up front, we will not talk about skill-based matchmaking of any kind. Like, they ignored it and hid from it so long. And then eventually, they gave us a couple of blog posts where they talked about it. Well, in one of the blog posts about skill-based matchmaking, they did a little Q&A. One of the questions was, have you ever tested removing skill as a consideration from matchmaking? To which they responded, we have run tests over the years to determine if removing skill as a consideration from matchmaking makes sense. We will continue to launch these tests periodically. Then there at the very bottom, we purposefully do not disclose when these tests occur because it may impact feedback or the data we see during these tests. I genuinely believe that we are in the middle of one of those right now. And who knows, maybe me making this video and kind of like telling everyone about it or whatever is going to make them change things up. But dude, 13 matches with almost a 4KD in a game like Modern Warfare 3. And I'm, most of the time I'm running around with random marksman rifles trying to get that aftermarket part that basically brings back the model 1887s like something about it man something about this game mode it's actually weird and what's crazier is after i jumped out of minefield and i jumped into like the small map mosh pit or maybe the season three mosh pit immediately the matchmaking was night and day different like every lobby i'm in i see two people they both start jump shotting me i'm seeing people drop shot across the map i'm seeing people slide canceling everywhere like it was night and day different and of course everything here is anecdotal i don't have any hard data to really back it up besides my stats and you guys know me i'm Am I like a 4KD player? Come on, let's be real here. Like, I'm not even close, right? It's actually wild when you play Minefield. And maybe it's because they thought to themselves, like, on their end, maybe if they have heavy, thick, skill-based matchmaking, that it would be a problem in a game mode where there are mines literally dropping everywhere. And maybe they thought, you know what? We should tone down skill-based matchmaking because that could potentially be a really bad mode. And I think right now they're gathering that data, like they said, and they're realizing that it's not that crazy of a mode. Like, people aren't just constantly blowing up left or right or anything. So I have a feeling over the course of the coming days, and weeks, they're going to gradually change up the matchmaking algorithm within Minefield because initially they were too scared with the mechanics of the mode to actually have proper skill-based matchmaking within it. It just, I don't know. I need to know your guys' feedback here. I need to know your experiences with Minefield down there in the comments. A couple of you on Twitter told me you enjoy the game mode and you've been playing it, but if you guys could let me know, like, you, you can check your stats straight up in the game. Just go straight up down the Minefield and see what it is because I have a feeling skill-based matchmaking is straight up not on in that mode because Activision is running one of their tests, which just further pushes that narrative where we all kind of feel like we're guinea pigs in Activision's little laboratory as they continue to try to manipulate and change up the matchmaking algorithm to milk us for as much money as humanly possible. But guys, that is it for this short little video here today. Just want to talk about my experiences and this nonsense that's been happening since Season 3 came out. Let me know your experiences down there in the comments. Thank you all so much for listening, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.